Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. I have three things I'd like to cover in this video and that revolves around some of the hidden things that you might have a harder time finding inside of Fusion 360. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is adding things to a feature. And uh, if we look at this model, I've, I, the way it was created, it was just a rectangle, then some fillets were added and then I put a sketch cut feature going through the through the part. When I created the fillets though, I only filleted three of the edges and I really wanted this edge to be filleted as well. So if we go back and we right click and we edit that fillet, you can see that three edges are selected and it doesn't look like there's any way to select this edge. Now we can expand out the selections and we can add a new selection and click on that edge, but now I have to add a secondary uh, fillet radius on there. And what I really want is for all four of these, or three of these plus the new one to be changed at the same time. So the hidden way to go about doing this is to either hold the control down on the PC or the command button down on the Mac. So on my Mac, when I go ahead and I hold command, now you can see that the three lines that were selected up here, I can go ahead and select the fourth line let go of it and now all the edges are filleted. So the control and command buttons will let you add more things to your selection set depending on if you're on a PC or on a Mac. So go ahead and click OK. The second thing I want to talk about is the something called the select other command. So let's go ahead and what I've got is I've got a rectangular cut going through and I want that same rectangular cut over on the other side. I'm going to create a mirror to do that. So from the create menu, I'm gonna choose mirror. And the pattern type I wanna pattern is going to be features. And the feature I wanna select, remember features live in the timeline. I'm gonna select this extrusion right here as the feature that I'd like to, to mirror. Now I'd like to mirror it right down the center line of my part and I have an origin plane that runs right down the center line of my part. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose the mirror plane select option. And when I put my mouse over that mirror plane, notice it's selecting the top of the part and it's not selecting the mirror plane. So what I can do to get around that is I can approximate, put my mouse over where that plane is and I'm gonna left click and hold until I see that menu pop up. Then I'm gonna stop left clicking. Now as I move my mouse over the different selections, you can see how they highlight and tell me what Fusion is going to select. So in this case, what I'd like to do is select the XZ plane and I'll go ahead and click the OK button. The final one I'd like to show you happens in sketches. And that is sometimes you can't find the midpoint of things, circles, arcs, whatever lines, whatever it might be. Um, we can't find the midpoints of them. So in this case, what I'd like, you can see how this sketch entity floats. What I'd like is for the midpoint of this to be vertical over the origin point so that uh, no matter how I change it, it always stays centered. And so if I start the horizontal or vertical command, and choose the origin point. And now I can select somewhere on that line and notice that nothing is being selected. However, if I hold the shift button down and now I hover my mouse across that line, when I get to the midpoint, you'll see that little midpoint triangle uh, highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and a point is added. And now as I change the length of the line, the line updates in the way that I want it to be. So those are a few of the things that I see people struggle with to find inside of Fusion 360, and I hope you found those helpful.